Hi, this is David from My Warehouse. Uh, we're just going to run through a couple of functions to do with orders. So um, what you can see here in front of you is your dashboard. So you're logged in as a client of My Warehouse. You've got the dashboard in front of you broken into various areas. Uh, orders on the top left there, products, some reporting tools, some shipping information if you want to look up the price of shipping, if you're looking to send something out internationally particularly. Um, API and test area down here if you're integrating your systems with us or the account information down on the bottom right. Um, so let's just go over to the orders by clicking on manage orders. Uh, you can also do the same thing by clicking on the order tab at the top. So now you can see an overview of the orders for this particular test client. Um, down the left hand side we have action buttons that will take us into the detail of any particular order. So you can see the details of where the order was shipping to. You can see the individual SKUs that are on this order. Obviously, there'll be multiple SKUs if you've added various SKUs to the order with a description, quantity shipped. And in this case, because the shipment went out DPD courier, there's a quick link to the tracking information on the DPD website. Um, but there is also parcel information with the full um, license plate number of each individual parcel down here. So that's what orders look like on the system. Um, if you want to add a new order, you just use the big red new order button on the top right. You would click that. And if it's someone you've already shipped to before, um, you would just select them in this drop down and say find. You click on find and it will populate the information for you. Now, in this case, we will just create a manual new order. So we'll go to new order again and we'll enter some information. The order reference is just your reference, so I'll just say test order in this case, but it might be your order number. It doesn't matter as, as long as it's, it's unique to you and it means something to you, you can use whatever you like in there. I'm just gonna send it to David. Uh, I'm gonna send it to some random address, uh, the road. Uh, address, address two is optional, but we'll put it in here and we'll say Haddleston. Um, and the area can be Maidenhead. Um, the county, if you want to, you can put in. If it's a shipment going internationally, it's going to the US, um, it's important that you populate the US state with the two digit code. Um, so if it's going to Texas, it would be TX, for example. Um, the town and city in that case also becomes very important for international shipping. Uh, we're also gonna put in some random postcode here. Um, it doesn't really matter, we're not actually going to check it. Um, the order amount is purely a value. If you want to, you can put it in there. It's purely for your own records. It's not used um, when it's printed and it's not used when it's shipped to the customer. So it's purely for your own records internally in our systems. The country is by default United Kingdom, but obviously you can select any other country if it's going abroad. Uh, the carrier options, if it's going abroad, um, that needs to be international courier or international post, whichever method you want to use. If it's in the UK, the default is courier 24 hour, but you can select postage options if you prefer. Uh, email address, always good to put one of those in there. So we'll say test email uh, at something.com. We don't email anything out to your customers. So uh, that again is only for reference. Um, in case you then want to go back and email the customer later because there's been some sort of issue with the product. Um, you may want to gather the mobile phone number. Um, this becomes important um, if you're using obviously texting systems, um, sending something out to the customer that way. It's also the number that in the UK DPD would use to contact the customer. So the email address or the mobile number can be used um, to notify people of inbound shipments. So if you want them to receive that service from DPD, then you must populate these fields. Personalized message is just something that goes onto the dispatch note. So you can write something in here, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, it could be happy birthday, it could be here's the, the repeat order that you asked for, whatever you choose. Um, and the final thing down here is a button that is my wrap. So um, if you have set up the My Wrap service with My Warehouse, then if you tick this box, we will use whatever you've told us to do for My Wrap. Now that means that you as a client might ask us whenever something is a My Wrap item, I want you to wrap it in silver paper, put some glitter on it, I want you to put in one of these flyers. It's a special wrapping service basically that we have, um, but you can contact us for more information about that if you're interested. So the final step now is just to add some products. And when I click the add products on the right hand side, there's now a drop down which has a list of my products. 
um, and when I select one, it will check availability on the in the warehouse um, to see how many of those items are available. So in this case, there's one available, I'm going to add it. Um, so that is now on this order and it's offering me complete and insert, that's fine. I could change the quantities if there are any more available or I could add another SKU, but that's going to do us for now. So I'll say complete and insert. Um, and the final step you can see here now is that this order has now appeared at the top. It's a test order going to me at this postcode, United Kingdom. The date is today, the date it was submitted to us. The carrier is C24, courier 24 next day. And the final step would be to click the submit button. And at that point, it would go through our processes. So it would then be pending, in pick and dispatched. So it really is as simple as that to use uh, to create an order on the system. Um, if you want to hunt down orders at any time, you can always do a search by clicking on the search buttons up here. Um, and that will narrow the list of orders. So if you wanted to find that one going to me, um, you could list by David here. Um, notice that there, we actually limit by um, the most recent couple of months here, but you can change the date range if you want to just by clicking on the dates. So hopefully that's been of use. If you have any further questions, uh, just drop us a line or go into your Zendesk support and raise a ticket with us.